sometimes <laughs> we don't make the best decisions. I 100% believe that was not our fault. There is no information anywhere about doing what we were trying to do, which is kind of why we once and for all wanted some definitive answers and see if it really was the cheapest way to go. And technically it was the cheapest way to go, but in no way, shape or form was it worth it, nor would I recommend it to anyone even. I mean, we, we're people that like that kind of transportation and it was horrible. It was just exhausting. I say this at home and I'm gonna say it again even though we're on our tightest budget ever. Time is money. Time is money. Yep. We just lost a lot of time. And, and we still didn't, spent. And we didn't save enough money. A to lot make of it money. <laughs> This is a day that we've been dreading for a long time. We had planned to take the latest ferry out to the city of Surat Thani, which is where we are catching our train tonight at the Surat Thani train station. There is only one train per day that goes from Surat Thani to the border of Thailand and Malaysia, and it is at 2 a.m. So we were hoping to get the latest ferry out Unfortunately, we had to kind of waste today and we're taking a 12.30 to the docks. We'll get on the boat, the boat will take us to the mainland, we'll get on a bus, the bus will take us to the train station, and we're going to be there at... 5.30 or 6 is what they said. I'm hoping 6 or 6.30. <laughs> uh -huh. From there, we don't really have the next 6 hours before our train leaves planned out. Eight hours. Oh, I'm really bad at math. Yeah, so there's not really much to do around the train station. We're gonna just scope it out and see if there's a restaurant, a cafe, anything to just kill some time. Once our train comes, we then have a six and a half hour journey down to the border of Malaysia, where we will then need to cross the border, get on another train, and once we make it to the Butterworth station, we then take a ferry to Penang. So we're taking two ferries, two trains, a bus, a minivan, a minivan, it's gonna be our longest travel day yet. We probably should have bit the bullet and just flown, but mm -hmm. we like to do things the hard way. We stopped because the car overheated. All right, the bus is officially dead. We have to wait here for a new one, and we're gonna miss the ferry. Right, bus came to our rescue. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hand. <laughs> All right, three minutes left. <laughs> And now everyone on the bus has their tickets except they lost ours. And they have one. Two. Oh, this is so classic. So they never found our other ticket. We were so late getting to the boat that the guy didn't even buy us a new ticket. So now we're on the ferry, but we still have a our bus ride and we don't have a ticket for it and he didn't buy us a new one. In order to get on the bus to the train station we need two of these stickers. We only have one.
very hesitant to let us on without our second ticket. That took some work. Like, I promise I'm not trying to rip you off. That's what I was handed to get on the ferry. But and they, I paid for two. Yeah, they look pissed, but they were letting us go to the train station. So today has been fun. And it only started a few hours ago. On top of everything that's happened so far, I was trying to figure out whether we had the right train tickets or not. And I was just looking around online and it says one train leaves at 1.33, but ours leaves at 2.03. But the one at 1.33 is supposed to be the correct destination. So I'm just kind of like, what on earth? Nothing on this list says where we're trying to go or what we paid for. So we're gonna have to go straight to the train station, even though we don't need to be on it for like eight more hours, just to make sure we know what we're doing. I'm already exhausted. <laughs> to the Surat Thani train station. That's a good thing. The bad thing is that it is not even 6 p.m. and our train is not until 2 a.m. There's not much here. Um, I think there's a 7-Eleven I saw on Google Maps, so at least we can get water. Coffee. I don't even know where to get a bathroom, but we need to go to the ticket counter and see what the heck is up with these wonky ticket times and just make sure we get on the right train because that's important. <laughs> mm, okay, let's do it. Onward. Is this for train 37? It says 45. And we're good with this? Okay. Okay, so we got it figured out. So apparently the reason that our train number is all wonky is because the train technically goes to two places at different sides of the country because the train, from my understanding, splits apart at some point during the evening. So as long as we're in the right train car, we're going to the right place. And we have to be in the right train car because we have an assigned bed. So we'll be fine.
the Lux Street kind of continues. We didn't realize that the time changes here and our train was super late. So we thought we were gonna make the connector to Georgetown, but because the hour changes, the train just left. So we missed it. And this is the only time slot during the entire day that the train doesn't leave on the hour. So now we're waiting two hours. So we were gonna go to the ticket office and just get our tickets and wait around. They don't accept USD and they don't have ATMs anywhere. Or a money changer. Or a money changer. So now we are walking to the city to find a 7-Eleven. Let's go faster. <laughs> Moral of the story, have Malaysian ringgits before you get to the border. I didn't read that anywhere. Nope. All right, let's try this again. Uh, two for Butterworth at 1225. Got tickets. <laughs> We don't make the best decisions. I 100% believe that was not our fault. There is no information anywhere about doing what we were trying to do, which is kind of why we once and for all wanted some definitive answers and see if it really was the cheapest way to go. And technically it was the cheapest way to go, but in no way, shape or form was it worth it, nor would I recommend it to anyone even I mean, we, we're people that like that kind of transportation and it was horrible. It was just exhausting. And it was just so long. I loved the train. Yeah. I've never been on an overnight train. Taylor had a cockroach in her bed. <laughs> You're not gonna sleep. I didn't sleep, so it's weird that I'm saying that I loved it, but I just, it, I don't know if it was that I finally got to lay down or if it was just the new experience, but I actually really liked it. It wasn't that any piece of the transportation was horrible, it's that the amount of effort and time and still money that went into that wasn't worth it. Yeah, it's been 27 and a half hours of straight traveling to get here. We could have flown home and back in that amount of time. And it's 355 <laughs> miles. Miles. So at home, that's a four hour drive. And I don't think the delays that kept adding up are rare. I think that's just what you gotta kind of work around and be flexible with and it was what it was but yeah. I didn't love it. I say this at home and I'm gonna say it again even though we're on our tightest budget ever. Time is money. Time is money. Yep. We just lost a lot of time. And, and we still didn't, spent. And we didn't save enough money. A to lot make of it money. <laughs>